This video is the latest episode of our Climbing the Ranks series. In these videos, we take a quick stroll through a nation's tech tree, highlighting the most interesting vehicles that you definitely should check out. Today, we're going through the ground vehicles of France. Pre-war French vehicles, which are mostly found at low ranks, were often designed with infantry support in mind and weren't really supposed to fight other tanks. Eventually, though, the approach changed. Vehicles that were built after the war are completely different beasts. They are fast, they pack a punch, and reload their guns in the blink of an eye. The first era is all about modifications of vehicles built in the early 30s. France clearly wasn't planning to engage in much fighting, and by the start of the war, those vehicles were very outdated. The only great thing we can mention here is the armor of the H-39, 45 millimeters of steel. So at the very bottom, you have to rely on armor a lot. At least you'll be able to bounce a lot of shots with those sweet curves. At rank two, there are some interesting interwar vehicles. Take a look at the S-35, a medium tank with a very decent armor all around, at least for its time. It clearly wasn't built for lightning-fast flanking maneuvers, and you probably won't survive several hits in a row. But it can certainly hold its ground when compared to vehicles of other nations. Next up is the Renault AMC 35 light tank that sits at BR 1.3. The best part of this tank is that it's the lowest ranking vehicle with the ability to scout. This machine helps your team a ton. And when the tank you spotted is taken out, you get a reward. The B1 Bis and the B1 Tur are the first heavy tanks of the French tech tree, and they can easily tank most shots with their frontal armor. There's also a 75mm gun installed in the hull, with access to devastating APHE ammo. Most of your opponents can be destroyed with a single one of those. Also, the second era gives us the M4A1 and the M10, which perform just like their American brethren. That's obviously because they are just that, American vehicles used by the French military. Say hi to rank three, with the first vehicles using oscillating turrets. The AMX-13 FL-11 and the M4A1 FL-10. In the case of the former, an oscillating turret doesn't give it a particular advantage. In the case of the latter, though, when coupled with an autoloader, it allows for some spectacular plays. This Sherman, with its punchy gun and a fast reload rate, shows you what this design is really all about. When it comes to heavies, there's a domestically designed ARL-44 and an American M4A3E2 Jumbo. Both of those sport rather sturdy turrets for their BR. Of course, if you cover your hull well, most opponents will have a tough time trying to take you out. At rank four, oscillating turrets and drum-type loaders are the norm. This era is all about highly mobile vehicles with fast-firing guns. Very fearsome opponents indeed. The AMX-13 is a variant of the vehicle you've already seen with a new gun and a drum-type loader. Thanks to its amazing speed, you can flank your enemies in the blink of an eye. And with your fast reload rate, you won't have much difficulty promptly sending them to their hangars. Another light tank available here is the Char 25T. Its defining feature is its ability to go forward and in reverse at the same high speed of 65 kph, allowing it to quickly reposition without making a full turn. A good suspension will keep your aim more or less steady and after a bit of practice, 
you'll be able to pen enemies after a short stop or even on the go. At the same time, the low profile of the Char 25T allows it to be concealed behind almost any kind of cover. With the Lorraine 40T, you get rather weak armor, but also good mobility and a 100mm gun with a penetration rate of 295mm. Furthermore, thanks to a drum type loader, this tank has the fastest reload on this rank, only 4 seconds. The very same turret is also found on another tank of this era, the AMX 50. It's not as fast as Lorraine, but has much better armor and survivability. Finally, at this rank, there is also the AMX 13 DCA 40 SPAAG. It's armed with a 40mm fast firing gun that can punch through 93mm of steel, more than enough to wreck any opponent when engaging from the side. Also, being built on a track chassis, this vehicle boasts great mobility. Rank 5. Here we see another light tank, the AMX 1390. Compared to the vehicles of the previous generation, it has a better gun with access to heat rounds, capable of penetrating 320 millimeters of armor. All of that while retaining superior mobility. Next up is the AMX 50 Fosch, one of the best tank destroyers in the game. It has it all, good protection, decent mobility, and a very scary gun. The AMX 50 Chebes, that is basically a 120mm cannon mounted on an oscillating turret. With an autoloader, you can fire shots every six seconds, while a great suspension allows for rather smooth driving and consequently steady aim. At the same time, ammo is stored literally everywhere in the tank. For a noticeable boost to your survivability, eh, take no more than 20 rounds. This way, ammo will be placed only in the rear and in the autoloader. Yet another interesting vehicle at this rank is the AMX-30 Mod, a 1972 classic early European MBT that offers a combination of high mobility with an excellent gun. Furthermore, in addition to the main 105mm cannon, the tank is also outfitted with a 20mm gun, which will come in handy when engaging lightly armored targets. Why waste a round of your main caliber? we finally reached the last era. Here, you'll see two new variants of the tank we've just discussed. The AMX-30B2 got an excellent APFSDS as a part of its ammo selection, and a laser rangefinder will help you to make precision shots over large distances. The second variant, the Brenos, received ERA packs that will save you from some heat projectiles. Another vehicle worth noting is the wheeled amphibian called the AMX-10RC. In the tree, it's located among SPGs, but gameplay-wise, it's very much a light tank. Wheeled chassis provide it with an amazing mobility, allowing the vehicle to quickly go around groups of enemies and to take advantageous positions right at the start of the match. On the very top, there is this beauty the AMX-40 MBT. The tank is protected in the front by a composite armor. There is additionally some armor in a spaced arrangement in the turret. Even though in the end, the tank is not as well protected as other MBTs, its high mobility and an exceptionally potent APFSDS make the AMX-40 a very potent adversary.